It is 11.30 a.m. and you are visiting Mrs. Chartrand at her home. Because she is a diabetic, you are to perform a capillary glycemia test. Blood glucose tests are usually done four times per day unless otherwise recommended by a health professional. Before each meal, at bedtime, and as needed. These tests are used to adjust treatment according to target values, which are between 4 and 7 before meals and between 5 and 10 2 hours after meals. The PSW must also be able to detect the symptoms of hypoglycemia, hunger, diaphoresis, paleness, vision problems, vertigo, fatigue, tremors, headaches, and agitation. The signs of hyperglycemia are as follows, polyuria, thirst, fatigue, somnolence, and dry mouth. So Mrs. Chartrand, mm -hmm. this morning, since it's almost lunchtime, I'll be doing your blood glucose, okay? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Blood samples are preferably taken on the side of the ring or middle finger. The thumb, index, and little finger should be avoided. Also, sample sites should be alternated fingers and hands to prevent induration and colices. To prevent discomfort and injuries, the areas around the fingernails and fingertips should be avoided. Perfect. So I'm just going to... Disinfect your finger. Okay. Okay. Just Which one. Me, uh, this one here. Okay. Just let me know when it's dry, okay? Okay. For blood glucose tests, the person's hands must be clean and dry. Alcohol can be used to disinfect the sampling site. However, note that alcohol can cause erroneous results, so special care must be taken. When using alcohol, make sure it is fully dry before lancing the skin. Wipe the first drop with a dry gauze, then proceed. Prior to starting the procedure, routine checks are made. The code on the batch of reactive strips should match the glucometer code. The expiration date of the glucometer must also be checked. Knowing how to properly operate the glucometer is essential before starting the test. Inspect the person's fingers for wounds and calluses and avoid lancing those areas. If the blood flow does not seem sufficient, rub the finger to stimulate circulation. All right, so almost ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. When ready, open the meter and insert a reactive strip. Put on a pair of non-sterile gloves to prevent contact with biological fluids. All right, so I'm just gonna prick a bit, okay? Yeah. Pierce the side of the finger with a lancet then discard the lancet in the biohazard bin. Delicately squeeze the finger to draw out a drop of blood. Then take the glucometer and touch the site with the reactive strip. The blood automatically enters the strip. Make sure the strip is full. Perfect, so 4.7. Okay. Okay. Well, we're well within normal range, okay? okay. After sampling, put a gauze pad on the site and press lightly. The glucometer displays the result, which should be recorded on the user's monitoring form. In the case of an abnormal result, notify the nursing staff. Any sharp objects should be discarded in a biohazard bin. Discard the strip and gloves and perform hand hygiene.